welcome to A Web of Stories. I am here to share what I am reading for this week. I did finish a couple books this past week. If you visit my blog or my Goodreads account, you can see my reviews of them there. Otherwise, I'll cover them in my monthly wrap up. But these are the books that I will be reading, that I am reading or will be reading this week. And I just wanted to do a quick run through of them. The first one is A Room Full of Bones by Emmy, Ellie Griffiths. Um, I have, I'm still reading this one. This is one I talked about last week. It's taking me a little longer to get through this book for no fault of the book. Um, what happened, I realized, is I have this on my Kobo, so I read it mostly at night. And because of the time change, um, just my sort of daily sleeping schedules are kind of off. So I either end up going to bed later than I usually would, or I'm just tired when I go to bed. So the reading in bed is kind of an issue right now, not the book. Um, but this happens every time we have a time change, so I'm hoping that that will smooth out and I'll, I'll be able to get through this book um, by the beginning of this week, so in the next couple days or so. But I am really enjoying it, and I do recommend the Ruth Galloway series. The next book I'm still working on is Sitting Pretty by Rebecca uh, Tosic. This is her memoir, which I am listening to. I did have to take a break from it this week only because I was so far behind on all the po podcasts I listened to that I needed to give some of my listening time to that. But I am back with it now and I'm really enjoying it. Um, she, it's a collection of essays really, more than a memoir. And I'm, it's really bringing up things for me to think about that I hadn't thought about in terms of disability. Uh, I don't have a lot of people who um, have disabilities in my life. So I'm not, I, it's not something that I have dealt with a lot. So it was very interesting to read her take on things and how she sees the world. I'm really enjoying it. She's a great writer and a great narrator. And this isn't a super long audiobook. I think it's about eight hours. And then I, I always listen to my audiobooks a little bit fast, so it's less than that. But um, I don't know if I'll finish it this week, but I do think I'll make some good progress on it. And then I don't have my book here. I forgot to pull the book, but I'm still working on Madly Deeply by Alan Rickman. This is, I'm really enjoying this. Um, as I've said before, I'm reading about 15 pages a day and I expect this to take me through the month of November. Um, it is a diary, so it's, you know, short entries. It's not something I can just sit down and read for an hour. But, I, you know, about 15 pages is a good amount. One thing that's in this book that I am really enjoying is he gives these quick little, I don't want to say reviews, but his thoughts on movies that he sees. And um, it's just a sentence or two. And they're really, they're really kind of fun to read. I don't always agree with him. Um, he didn't like Goodwill Hunting, which I loved. He thought he was in Sleepless in Seattle, which I thought was strange, and he wasn't. So uh, it's those are kind of fun. Every time I come across one of those little mini reviews, it kind of is like, ooh, what does Alan Rickman think of this? So anyway, I'm continuing on with that. Um, I think I have just finished 1998, or I am in 1998. So I have a little ways to go before I hit the Harry Potter years. And then of course, I'm continuing on with The Count of Monte Cristo. Um, according to my reading schedule for this year, I have about a month left. We're getting towards the end. Revenge is happening. Um, I think that we're really building up for something. I don't know what that is. I actually don't, I've never seen a movie of this, of this book, so I don't know the arc of the story. I don't know what happens. I only knew the very basic synopsis of it. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm looking forward to that. As I said, about a month more of this, and then I will have finished that. And then I'm starting two books this week. Um, actually, I'm starting them, one of them I'm starting today and one I'll probably start tomorrow. And they're kind of related. The first one is my next for nonfiction November and it is Lucy Worsley's Agatha Christie, An Elusive Woman. I am looking forward to reading this because I enjoy both Agatha Christie and Lucy Worsley. This is, as Lucy Worsley says, a historical biography, not a literary biography. And um, I'm really looking forward to see what she has to say. I like her style. Um, I've read a few things that she's written, uh, mostly shorter things. And then I've seen her on television and in podcasts and I find her very entertaining. So this is, I have high hopes for this book. And then I, have, I wrote this down. It's on my Kobo, so I can't hold it up, but it's, it's kind of a detailed thing. I'm, I'm reading The Six Against the Yard by the Detective Club. And the author's, who are in who contributed to this book according to goodreads i'm not sure goodreads is correct on this but i'm going to say who they said it was it was dorothy l sayers marjorie allingham anthony berkeley our girl agatha <laughs> uh, 
Freeman, Willscroft, Ronald Knox, Russell Thorndike, and George um, George W. something. I can't read my own writing. Sorry. I'll fix that. Um, I don't think it's all of those writers. I think that that was all of the members of the detective club, but I think only six of them um, contributed to this book. So I'm really interested to see how this goes. Um, I wasn't planning on reading this this month, actually. Um, it actually wasn't even on my radar, but um, I joined the, the She Done It book club, and this is their book that they're going to discuss at the end of November. So I thought, this is excellent. So right now it's kind of my uh short story book that i'm kind of reading along with um i am reading it on my kobo so i think once i finish ruth galloway i'll just continue with this one and finish it up before i start something new but that's what i have going on this week um hopefully i will have some new books for you next week um, i'm hoping to finish up at least one that i have going this week so i'll have at least something new next week but anyway thanks for stopping by and i'll see you in the next video thank you Thank you.